What's going on, my Jack brother? Coach Scott here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to flex your abs properly to give you that washboard look. Instead of looking like a washboard that's had a softball thrown at and is all dented in. And I say that because I see a lot of guys who put in the hard work to get lean, and then they go to show off their results with a photo on social media, and they make the biggest mistake when it comes to flexing your abs, and that is they try sucking in their gut. Almost like they're creating a vacuum. They're drawing their belly button in, and yes, that's gonna make your waist look more narrow, but it makes your abs look less than impressive. When you want to flex your abs to create that washboard look, you don't want to draw your belly button in. You don't want to be sucking your gut. Basically what you want to do is shorten the distance between your lower abs and your upper abs while keeping your body nice and upright. Basically, you wanna to try to flex from your pelvic bone up to your sternum here, just drawing everything in closer together. Now this does require a strong mind-muscle connection. I'm gonna share some tips, tricks, and cues with you that you may find helpful in enhancing your mind-muscle connection with your abs and being able to flex your abs properly to create that washboard look. The first one is to place your hands on your thighs and you're gonna press them in hard. As soon as you press your hands in your into your thighs, you're gonna feel your core and your abdominals contracting. That's the kind of feeling that you want to create, carry over when you're trying to just flex your abs without even pressing your hands on your thighs. So just pay attention, like press your hands down and notice how your abs flex. So you're not drawing your belly button in, you're not like pressing your belly out or anything. You're just creating tension in the abdominal muscles and flexing them. And you'll notice a distance between the lower abdominals and the upper abdominals uh, decreases. They come closer together and you feel tension right from the, again, the bottom of your pelvic bone all the way up to your sternum there. So that's tip number one. The second trick is to simply lean back because as soon as you lean back a bit, you're gonna feel your body, your core, automatically engages, it automatically stabilizes. And again, your belly button isn't being drawn in, it's not popping out, you're just feeling tension across the abdominals as you lean back there. So when you're trying to do get a photo, one of the, the, the little tips and tricks is to, all right, let's lean back there and you're gonna notice the abs contract instead of sucking the belly button in. The third tip is to simply blow all the air out of your lungs. So you're gonna take a deep breath in and then blow it all out. As you can tell, like, as you're trying to force that last little bit of air out of your lungs, your abs automatically tighten up. So again, look down and see how your abs are contracting. Have that heightened sense of awareness. How, how does it feel? How's that mind-muscle connection going on when you're doing each of those three things? And now I'm gonna share some other tips and tricks when it comes to the posing that incorporates all of those strategies into one. Now, when flexing our abs, we typically don't look our best when we're facing the camera head on. So what you wanna do is stand perpendicular to the camera. So your hips are facing towards the side, and then you're going to twist your upper body to face the camera here. So you're almost squaring your shoulders off to, to face the camera. That's gonna create a more narrow appearance with your waist. Your waist is gonna look tighter and smaller. And from this point, you're going to lean back a little bit. So that cue, you're gonna feel your abs tighten up there. And then you're going to blow all the air out. And you're going to press your hands up against your hip here. And the next part to make your whole body look your best, you wanna flex your arms so it's pressing into your hips there. And you wanna flex this upper arm, the shoulder, into that pec so it's gonna make your chest look bigger. It's gonna make your arms look bigger. It's just gonna bring the details out of your, uh, pop out among your whole physique and not just your abs here. And just flexing everything at once, it's gonna create your abs. Uh, it's gonna make your abs look even tighter as well. So let's put it all together here. So I'm facing the side. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and then blow it out, lean back a little bit and twist at the same time. So. So you can see as I like completely, the more air I exhale out, the tighter the abs look. I'm not trying to, again, if I, if I was just to kind of twist and suck my belly button in, I'm drawing it in, it doesn't, it's not making my abs, my abs kind of almost did that, especially the lower abs kind of disappear. Yes, it makes my, my waist look more narrow. I'm trying to draw that belly button in, but that looks less than impressive than making the abs pop like a washboard. <sighs> So 
So a few little tips and tricks there. Again, it's all manipulating your body in a certain way that's gonna make them not just suck in, but really freaking pop out and look like a washboard. Another trick is to hold onto a prop. When you hold onto a heavier object, it's going to create some tension in your abs. You gotta be careful because sometimes holding onto that object will create some funky tension in your abs. They're not going to look quite impressive, but when you combine it with the uh, techniques that I just shared with you, it makes all the difference in the world. So you can hold on to a weight plate, you can hold on to some dumbbells, you can hold on to a medicine ball, you can hold on to a barbell. As soon as you grab onto the barbell, you're holding hands, you're gonna feel that tension in your abdominals. And another thing, when you're doing like a, a barbell exercise, if you have that barbell up above your head, you're doing like a tricep extension, you can hold it in, in the position up above your head. It's going to kind of like stretch out your core muscles. It's gonna kind of stretch the skin out a little bit. And that's going to uh, allow your abs to reveal themselves even more. So props are a fantastic way to make your abs pop even more. And it just, it shows off your physique even better. Again, it's going to create the tension in all the muscles in your body, not just the core. Um, and yeah, it just makes you look impressive overall. Another very important factor when it comes to creating that washboard look is the lighting conditions that you're flexing under. If you're outdoors, the time of day that you're flexing can have a significant impact on how the shadows are cast on your physique. So flexing mid morning or later on in the afternoon is going to have a big difference uh, compared to noon when the sun is directly uh, above you there. And even the direction that you are flexing and where you're, how you're facing the sun can have a significant impact. So you see I'm flexing in, in one direction. This was taken mid-morning. Um, from the one side, it looks completely different than when I turn to the opposite side uh, and, and flex that way. So you just see how the shadows are cast differently on my body and just brings out different kind of details of my physique. Same time, same conditions, but the lighting is just the direction of the lighting can have a very big impact on how you look. And I took some photos, some videos indoors as well. So natural lighting coming in here at a certain time of day. Uh, and again, facing different directions can have an impact on how my physique looks. So in the living room and then in the kitchen as well, I got different light lighting coming in from the different direction at the exact same time of day. So exact same time of day, different areas of my house, no pump, all the conditions are exactly the same, but facing different directions in different rooms where the, the sunlight's coming in at different angles can have a very big impact on how I look. And then I can go into the bedroom and I've got a light almost directly over my head can really cast some different shadows on my body. And again, how the, the softness or the intensity of the light that's above you can either wash you out or create those perfect lighting conditions, the perfect shadowing that really brings out the details of your physique. So if you are using um, these photos, these videos as a way to measure your progress, to, to see how, how your transformation is, is going on, I highly recommend that you pose and flex under the exact same conditions every single time. It's typically what I do. I, there's one fantastic spot uh, in the gym uh, locker room where the lighting is just kind of above me. It's not too bright. Like one of the light bulbs is burnt out. Whenever they put in, replace that light bulb, it kind of washes me out. But with, with just the one light bulb burnt out, it casts just the right freaking shadows on my, my body. So keeping that consistent, the exact same distance from the camera, the exact same distance where the light is uh, bl um, shining down directly over top of me, uh, I keep that consistent so I can really kind of gauge any kind of progress that uh, that I'm seeing there. Uh, and again, it's like I like to refer to this lighting as like anabolic lighting because it really is ideal freaking conditions like you can even see like the the impact that it has uh, and making me look bigger when i'm standing just relaxed there i look good um but i mean when i'm flexing under those lighting conditions it makes me look way leaner and way more muscular than i actually am for the record i'm five foot seven 147 pounds right now and 46 years young almost 47 so uh, not a big guy but when i'm flexing under those right conditions those anabolic conditions, it makes me look much bigger and much more shredded than I have. I, like I'm lean, I'm definitely really freaking lean, but I mean, some of these photos under the right lighting makes me look absolutely freaking shredded. So it's really important when you are comparing yourself to others on social media. A lot of us, like I've got a lot of experience with photo shoots and bodybuilding competitions, controlling my body. Uh, I know how to 
move my body in a certain way under the right lighting conditions to make myself look leaner and more muscular. So if you don't quite have it down yourself, don't compare yourself to, to others out there. Just compare yourself to yourself as you learn to improve upon these techniques to show off your body in the best possible way. But I, it's also the reason why I like to just share my videos at times before I flex, standing there relaxed so you can see how I look relaxed, give you a more realistic impression of how I look compared to when I'm, I'm flexing because it can be a dramatic difference there. So um, yeah, try to keep it realistic expectations there when it comes to your physique and just know where you're at that stage of the game compared to others. And one last tip before we wrap things up, you can use oils to make your washboard abs pop out even more. It's what we do in bodybuilding contests. Not only do they spray tan us, but at the end they'll, they'll spray us with a light oil and they just kind of pat it dry off of us. You don't want it to be like too shiny, too glaring, especially if there's any light that's uh, really bright shining on you. So you, you want to just put a little oil on you, kind of pat it off a little bit. You can use like coconut oil if you want, but like in bodybuilding competitions, even like for photo shoots, there was, I think the one product we used was um, muscle juice or something like that. Even had something that made you, you more vascular, made your veins pop out uh, when you applied it as well. That was not allowed in bodybuilding competitions. So the professionals who would spray tan us and put the oil on us, they, I forget exactly what they use, but um, again, putting it on you and just lightly patting it off so it's not like too shiny and bright, uh, especially if there's a direct sunlight uh, blasting on you. But yeah, you can use anything, even suntan lotion. If you put that on you're taking po photos, if, if even if someone takes a picture of you, you're outside at the beach or whatever and you got suntan lotion on, you'll notice that, oh wow, I'm like kind of, it brings out more details in my physique. So putting all together to showcase the hard work that you put towards sculpting your body, transforming your physique and really viewing it as a work of art and really taking pride in all that you've accomplished, really becoming fascinated with our human potential, what we're able to achieve with consistent hard work and dedication. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found these tips very helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts share your insights, share your feedback, and don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.